Hello, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you want to know how to make a post box like this, I've made two because I've made one for Frankie Jack's school, then you need to stay tuned. And don't forget to press the subscribe button. It's right here. <laughs> um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and leave your comments below. So I'm going to talk you through how I made this. Um, I absolutely love it. Mine's going out my front door, so that's why I wanted the snow that side. That's for Frankie Jack's, and we stuck it, uh, Frankie Jack's school, we stuck it on the other way. Um, yes, going to talk you through it. Stay with me. of a post box so you can see the one on the right uh, this one that I'm pointing at here these are from Hobbycraft and they already come like this it's like a cardboard tube um, with a bit of a top with a top um, that looks like an old-fashioned post box so what I've done is I've painted it with um, an acrylic paint it's crimson red and then I've just you can see it's there to my hands because I've been painting and then I've colored the bottom bit uh, black and inside the actual um, post box, I've sprayed it red. Um, the red's probably not as crimson as the outside, but beautiful colour. And then I've started on the lids of the two of them. Um, so this is the first process to make that look like an old-fashioned uh, post box. I'm, got, I'm having one for my house, and one is going to Frankie Jack's school. Um, the one for my house is going to be heavily yacht varnish because I want it to go outside. Frankie Jack's will probably just have... Um, uh, one layer of yacht varnish but Frankie Jack's been helping me tonight as well so excuse me it's always a mess um isn't it when you're crafting but that's the first stage you can probably see a little bit of wood um around about here and that's going to go on the bottom and I'll explain all as we're going further along done it's got an s and a c in wooden letters and then I've sprayed it with some gold spray paint from Poundland and then I'm going to mob podge and glitter those up obviously standing for Santa Claus that's going to go on the post box so I've carried on um once the acrylic paint has dried I've now yacht varnished um, the whole thing not inside but outside I've not done the the actual um, top of it yet because um, I've run out of the red acrylic crimson red paint and I just want to go over with another coat for it but you can see the shine and the shimmer you have to excuse my kitchen floor it's a right mess because I'm doing this in here tonight and then I've also now mod podged and I have gold glittered the S and the C so that is going to sit here and then Gary's making me a sign to go here tomorrow that says uh, the times when you should be posting and if you can see around the back there we've also got a a piece of marine plywood because this is going to sit on top of it and you're probably thinking what a weird shape and how bizarre but I'll show you what I'm going to do with that um, as the video goes on. So now I've just got to wait for the yacht varnish to dry. I am doing one for myself because this is for the school and but I need to get the crimson red so I'm going to start that tomorrow. So next process, Gary's made um, two of these, one for ours, so we've put Frankie Jack on ours, the other one for the school, we've put the school's details, um, and he's made this and laminated it at work, which I think looks absolutely cracking, and then what I'm going to do is I got some cards delivered this morning in this box, and um, I've just, um, I'm cutting out the outside, so if I take this down here, you can see, because I've just started to paint it, so this is what um oh stuck slightly so that I'm painting this and it's going to it's going to go that's going to go behind this and then stick on to this um I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitter around here so this actually this bit actually stands out as well but obviously I've got to wait for this to dry so this is my next step and of course I've done another S and C because I'm doing two of these uh, the yacht varnish on that one is uh, has dried so and I, I think it looks absolutely fantastic I'm so pleased and of course that wooden bit is for the next step that I'm doing which you will see um the next bit of the next process SC obviously standing for Santa Claus so we're going to have that at the top 
and then the Santa Claus at the bottom. So that is the next step. Just finishing off the letterbox, I've shown you part of how I've been doing it. Um, this is the, the, the one for us now. So we've Frank, uh, Gary's made the sign for Frankie Jack. And then I've already varnished this and put Mod Podge on. This is just a bit of cardboard, which I showed you doing. And then the SC. So I'm just going to stick this oh, 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 oh. to this. <laughs> He's absolutely off his rocker tonight. I think I'm sure it's because we've got all Christmas stuff down. And he's just not going to find it, are you, Frankie Jack? Don't jump on my back. You know, I don't like that. So, I'm going to glue this. Also, can you see this plank of wood at the bottom? So we put that on because I'm going to put some fake snow on that. So that's been silicone down tonight. So I'm probably naughty doing this, but I'm actually going to free... And stick it on. So I'm using super glue. Don't irritate the dogs. No, Bungle's doing it. What? Bungle's irritating the dogs? No, yeah. I bet this doesn't work as well as the other glue that I use, you know. That's not working as well. So I've already done this once. Stuck the first bit and now I'm gonna I can't believe I've got everybody around me. Frankie Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> The moment of truth. So if you can see, because I've sprayed it and put glitter, there's a bit that's like, so I just need to pick all that bit off around the side. So I want to obviously make it as neat as possible for when it goes on. S and C, obviously standing for Santa Claus. Who's Santa Frankie Jack? Merry Christmas. But it's not Santa. Is it not? Who is it? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Who is it then? It's not Santa Claus. What is it? It's Santa. Oh, it's Santa. Sorry. This is the easiest thing ever. It's no nonsense expanding foam. This is the one that I told you, tell you from Screw Fix. I shook it really well, applied the applicator. Now, this is where I start to worry because I think, oh, is it going to go well? So, this is ours. I'm going to do ours first before I do the, the, the school children's one for school. Please work. TikTok really good. 
Right, I'm top, yeah. Woo! Got sweat on. Um, so what I'm using, <clears throat> again, one messy kitchen, is Mod Podge and from the pound shop, or might have been the range, Christmas Iridescent Snowflakes. And what I'm doing, very, very, very simply, is dabbing Mod Podge on, like so. Try and get in all the cracks and all the grooves. And then, I'm sprinkling the artificial iridescent snow over the top, like so. And I think that looks really effective. Now I'm gonna do that all over. This. I've also put a little robin on the top. I'm going to explain all about that as we get as we get further afield. Um, but I'm really pleased with how this is looking. I'm also giving one to the school as well for Frankie Jack. So I've got their school. I've got Frankie Jack's letters here, but I've got his uh, school name on it. Oh, there's a little bit of corner come out there as well, hasn't there? Better glue that back down. And that is the finished article. I absolutely love it. I never thought I would love it so much. That's the little Robin sat on the front, or on the, on the top, should I say. I got him from, guess where? Yeah, the range. I blinking live in there, <laughs> honestly. I live in there. And then, of course, I've got all that fake snow on the bottom, on top of the expanding foam, the two Cs just getting up close, the letters to Santa. Gosh, I love it. You can see the shininess on it as well from the uh, varnish that I've put on it. I'm absolutely, totally and utterly in love with that. So that is how you make it. So quick and easy, but it takes a couple of days because of each process, if that makes sense. Oh, I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to leave your comments below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. All the details are at the end of this video. Thanks for stop stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.